Good afternoon, everyone. We are going to be doing our word study lesson today on comparative suffixes. A suffix is an ending for a word, and comparative means to compare two different things, or more than two different things. So you can see here, we have a picture of an apple, and an apple is juicy. So if we had the word juicy, here's just one object. However, if we added another fruit, like a strawberry, and there were two things, and we were comparing them, we might say that the strawberry is juicier. So when we use juicier, the er is a comparative suffix. See how it's written in red? We've changed the end from juicy to juicier to, to compare the second object. Okay. If we add another fruit, now we've got more than two. So now we've changed this suffix to est. So now we would say that orange is the juicy yest. So we have two suffixes we're talking about today, the er suffix and the est suffix. And when we have two objects we're comparing, we would say one is juicy er. When we've got more than two, we would say something is juicy est. The same for length. So here we have three blue sticks. The first one, if it was just on its own, we would say it's long. If we have two sticks, we would say the second one is longer. That's that er ending again for two objects. If there's more than two, we would say that it is longest. We're adding the est ending. So to com here's our two suffixes, er and est. To compare two things, use er. The wind is calmer today than it was yesterday, comparing today and yesterday. My hamburger is fatter than your hamburger. To compare more than two things, use est. This is the easiest book I've ever read. So you've read more than two books. Today is the hottest day of the summer. There's been more than two days of summer. And the way we write those, um, we, we change the spelling a little bit. So if the first word like juicy has a Y, we have to change that Y to an I. So we would take the I, um, the Y way, put an I on before we add the ER or the EST. So for the word pretty, we take the Y off, put on an I and add the I ER to make prettier. We would take the Y off, add the I, and then add the EST to make prettiest. If our word ends in an E, you have to take the E off. So for brave, we would take off the E, then add on our ER ending to make braver. We would take off the E and add EST to make bravest. If it's our word like long, that doesn't end in an E or a Y, you just add the ER or the EST on the end. You don't have to change anything. So let's do one together. We are going to add a suffix to each of these words and we're going to use it in a sentence. So let's get this to a proper size. I beg your pardon, that's a bit crazy. Okay, so if we've got the word grumpy, we're going to add um, a suffix to it and use it in a sentence. So if I was thinking that I was grumpier today than yesterday, so I'm comparing two days, I might say I am grumpier today than I was yesterday. Now, grumpier, I took off the Y, added an I, and it has the ER. Okay, because I'm comparing two days, so it's the ER one. Okay, let's think about naughty. Let's think about if you had a naughty little puppy and there were lots of puppies that lived on your street. So you could say, my puppy is the naughtiest. I'm going to take off the Y and add an I. Best because there's more than two. My puppy is the naughtiest on our street. Okay, so we've got our EST ending and I'm gonna highlight the I as well because I want you to see that we changed that to an I. Okay, what about calm? 
Um, let's have a sentence here for Carl. Oops. Mm. My friend was the whoops. My friend was the calmest of us all. Now here it didn't end with an I or a Y, so we could just leave everything the same and just add our S ending on the end. Okay? Now what I want you to see is that you are going to have an activity to do on, let's look at it big, you're going to have an activity to do on Canvas. You can see we've got these four boxes. We've got the ER ending and the EST ending. And here we've got some of our words have been changed with an, add an, an I added on because the original word must have had a Y. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on each word you're going to click on each word like braver and you are going to drag it to the box that it belongs in. Okay, you're going to find which ending it belongs into. So if I get this next one clumsier, see it's got the I-E-R ending, I'm going to drag it down to the I-E-R box. Okay, so you're going to take all of these words and you are going to drag them to the right ending the right suffix box. So you are doing a word sort, okay? Then you are going to submit it. So this is, a, is an activity for you to do on Canvas, okay? All right, my friends, enjoy your activity. I will look to be grading those later this evening. Thanks.